Howdy y'all, I'm TJ with Bear Clan Gaming, and these are the secret tools of 7 Days to Die. Sometimes called admin tools, developer tools, god tools, or simply dev tools, there are a few unique items in 7 Days to Die that can be used for some specific reasons, or simply to have an insane amount of fun. In this video, I will outline all these dev tools, we will discuss some uses, and even how these can assist with YouTube video creation. But to start, let's enable their use. While in the world, select the F1 key on your keyboard to open the command console. Type CM and hit enter to activate the creative menu. Then exit the command console and open your crafting menu. There will be a new icon on the far top right side. It looks like a light bulb. This is the creative menu. Select the dev icon at the top center in the creative menu and search for these tools by name or just type in dev in the search bar. This will provide all the dev tools. The first dev tool we'll discuss is the Find Trader Quest tool. The Find Trader Quest dev tool simply starts a quest to point you to the nearest trader. Handy for a server admin with a new player. The dev paintbrush, as the name states, is a paintbrush with the added benefit of not requiring paint and being much faster at applying it. If you are a builder of massive bases or a world slash prefab creator, this tool can be very valuable. Super Digger. This tool is nuts. It has 20,000 block damage, a 450 round per minute rate of fire, and 200 meter range with 8 times zoom. This tool can decimate all blocks and do it quickly. Caution must be exercised when using this tool as the possibility of overkill is very high. Also used for POI world building, it can remove any game block with a single shot. If you find a locked chest, it will unlock on the first shot and destroy on the second. One of the most useful dev tools in the game. Instant Death Pistol. No real explanation needed here. It kills everything and will remove corpse blocks in one shot. 5,000 range damage, zero block damage, 450 rounds per minute rate of fire, and a 200 meter max range. It is also capable of 8 times zoom. A handy tool when you're in the world as an admin and you don't want to deal with enemies. Super Wrench. It has the ability to harvest everything with just one swing and kills just as fast. All resources are harvested and even does this for cars. Up next is a bit of a complex tool, the Admin Block Replace tool. This tool replaces single blocks or all blocks of the same type by copying a source block. Used for building when building in one medium and another is desired later. It can simply be replaced with this tool instead of breaking and replacing. Select the area of the blocks you'd like to replace by using the Active Selection blue box by pressing Z on your keyboard. And then walk up to your source block and left mouse click. You'll see in the lower right hand corner of my screen it is now steel. Hold down R to get our selection menu. Replace focus block. Replace blocks with air. Use paint of copied block. Use default paint of new block. Keep paint of replaced blocks. And then replace all blocks of the same type. So we can right mouse click to replace a single block, or we can select all, right click and replace all. If we'd like to completely remove the items, replace blocks with air and right click. Don't forget to hit backspace to deactivate the selection area. This is the Hammer of God. Just like the Super Wrench, it destroys any block in one strike, but without the complex resource harvest. Here is the Fool's Cap. From the description, it's a simple cloth wrap to dress wounds. Use it to stop bleeding damage. Use secondary action to treat another player, but it appears to have no effect in the game. In the configuration files, it appears to be a placeholder for testing the ragdoll function, but I was unable to get this to work in the game. Rocket Boots. The most fun dev tool we will talk about in this video is the Rocket Boots. Jump far and fast, mostly no fall damage, but sometimes fall damage, depending on how you land. This gives the player the ability to quickly travel the map in a superhero style fashion. Assists with server admins, for traveling, or just living your superhero dream, these boots do not get boring. Just be careful indoors. There are two very similar dev tools up next, so we'll cover them at the same time the plus 100 shades of looting and plus 200 shades of looting. Simply stated, they add either 100 or 200 to your loot stage. This can boost a player new to your world, assist with debugging for testers, or simply get you farther in the game if you feel early game is just too slow. 
Another useful admin tool is the Pimp Mining Helmet. It's a mining helmet with light source and 100 heat and 100 cold resistance. It prevents both the cold and hot buffs in the world. Plot Armor Plot Armor is a single chest piece in the shape of a steel armor that has the following stats. 81.2 Armor 81.2 Explosion Resistance 34% Armor Critical Resist 0 Stamina Per Second Penalty 0 Mobility Penalty and 0 Noise Increase with a max durability of 9,999. It's equivalent to a full suit of steel armor with best mods per the description. Pair the plot armor with our next dev tool and you'll be immortal. The Tough Guy t-shirt has, has 4.1 cold resist, 8.9 heat resist, and plus 20,000 health. With these two, you cannot die. Almost. Another funny dev tool is the Ring of Fire. It makes everything around you fall into a burning ring of fire when equipped. It causes near instant death for any entity near you. An item handy for us YouTubers is the Dev Tool Full Res Spec, R E S P E C. It clears out all perk points and learned perk books while known schematics are retained, allowing for the testing and experiments needed to bring you these kinds of videos. We can see how adding points and learning books can affect the survivor's performance. So, as you can see, I have five points or five levels in fortitude with living off the land maxed out. And they've been added to my bank and all reset. Speaking of YouTube, if you've made it this far into the video, please subscribe for more great guides like this. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate it, thanks. The following group of tools are very similar and can be considered tool kits. The Note to Testers, Electricity Test Note, Upgrade Resources Pack, Crafting Resources Pack, and Level Design Tools are all dev items that provide the player kits to edit their world. The Note to Testers is a kit that provides the player an assortment of dev items as seen here, including required materials to complete starting quests. The Electricity Test Note puts numerous electrical items and generators in the player's inventory. Upgrade Resource Pack consists of a nail gun and all required materials to upgrade the blocks in the world. Crafting Resource Pack has numerous parts that are required to craft many of the items in the game. Our final kit is the Level Design Tool. The Level Design Tool contains multiple resources and tools to edit terrain and structures. The last three tools on our list are Terrain Tools. The Terrain Removal Tool is a bubble that removes a sphere-shaped portion of terrain and not blocks. Use the shift key with the mouse wheel to adjust the size. The terrain add tool adds with the left mouse button. Be warned it will remove placed blocks if present. And finally, the terrain modeling tool both adds and removes terrain. Using these tools does require admin privileges on hosted servers and will prevent any achievements in the world that they have been used in, so be warned. But they can be very valuable tools for building or fun. I hope you've enjoyed this video and feel free to leave a like, comment below your favorite dev tool, and please share this video with any other survivors. Until next time, laters.